What's up guys? Welcome to your 12th Android tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is set up our own activity from scratch. Homemade Java um, is what we're going to be doing. We're going to set up a Java class, so we're going to go up to our source folder and right click and go to new, either, uh, I'm sorry, new class right here. Hit OK and we're going to call this Splash with a capital S and again I should get I should just tell you this because since we're working with Java it's basically good grammar for your class names to start with the uppercase letter I didn't do that with the starting point that other or other class that we have called starting point but general rule of thumb you want to have it uppercase not a huge deal but um, you know whatever and then we're gonna hit finish got our class started and now as we uh, we're just also gonna open our starting point class as a reference you guys can kind of see what we need to set up here. Now, right now, it's just a Java class. It's not an activity. And Android uses activities. They're basically like different uh, tabs. For example, this is a tab, and then this is a tab. Think of this as an activity for the most part. And then we can open up this activity, and it'll put that previous activity behind it. And then if we hit the back button on our phone, it opens this activity. I don't know if that made sense, but they're basically like different windows or different tabs. That's what an activity is. So we want our splash to be an activity. So what we're going to say is extends activity. And what extends means is that we're extending the activity class. So we have to import this activity class, which comes from the android.app package, again from uh, the SDK for the most part. So we're going to import that. And what extends means is we're since we're using or extending this activity class we can use some of the methods from within that activity class now let's go back to the starting point and we notice that we have this method called onCreate so we're gonna add that real quickly uh, by right clicking within the brackets going down to the source and then going to override implement methods click that and as you can see here's our activity class that we're extending and we can use all these methods from within that activity class. There's a method called onCreate uh, which you guys saw in our starting point activity so we're gonna click this and make sure it's the one that takes in a bu takes a bundle within its parameters click OK and we have our activity for the most part set up uh, at least our onCreate method set up and now basically I kinda wanna quickly talk on the Java um, just kinda give you guys a little bit better understanding of what's going on public just think of that meaning that it's accessible by other classes or other uh, yeah for the most part other classes if it's private for the most part it won't be be able to be accessed by those other classes um, and again we're setting up a class again that might be a confusing word for new Java programmers but basically a class defines certain things I'll, I'll get into that explanation later as we go just know that this is a class what we're setting up all these are classes over here under our package and we're extending the activity class so we can use this method called onCreate now anytime you guys see void that basically means that it's going to be a method we're using a method so when you see void just think of method for the most part and this method is called onCreate and what it takes within its parameters is a bundle so this is just like a variable we set up so we could change this bundle to something like Travis uh, loves bacon again we're just renaming the variable and then uh, we're sending that variable to the superclass for the most part and giving some giving it some data so we need to change our variable down here to Travis love bacon I guess it's supposed to be Travis loves bacon but it's just Travis love bacon um, that's my middle name and my last name love bacon but uh, there we go so basically we're sending this bundle into our super class you guys don't really need to worry about what super is since again it sets it up for you but as you guys get into Java you'll realize what that is actually doing it's using the method on create uh, it, just don't worry about that okay now the other thing that we want to do for this activity is set up the content view this is how we're going to let this activity have the background of our layout that we just set up called splash. So to do that, we use the method called set content view. And within the parameters, we're going to resource or reference that uh, splash 
layout by going r dot layout dot splash and then we just need our semicolon and we're good to go basically our activity will load up that new splash and I'll show you guys how we can basically uh, well just watch the next tutorial where we're gonna get into the Android manifest again thanks guys for watching hope you have a good one hope that somewhat made sense and catch you then peace